everybody. We're going to do a memory verse game, which I like to call memory verse hot potato. The first thing you're going to need is one or two things that you can pass. The first person says the first word of the Bible verse. The second person gets the passing item, which I'll just call a ball for now. And then they say the second word. Then the third person. Then the fourth person. And then it goes all the way back to the first person. Now, I have four spots because that's just how I have. However many people you have playing with you can work. Even if you just have two people. You just pass the ball and say the next word of the memory verse. Here's the fun part. If you mess up, you start all over again. And if you drop the ball, you start all over again. So, remember to review the memory verse, which is Romans 14, 19. And so, let us make every effort to live in peace and work hard to build each other up. That's round one. Round two is doing the same ball, but backwards around the circle. Round three is having not only a ball, but also a second object, like a frisbee. And so you're each paying attention to the Bible verse, but you start the first one with the first word. And then this person passes it to that person. And then you start it again with the second object. And you want to see how long you can keep both going around the circle using the words of the memory verse. And if you get good at that, round number four is the hardest. You have the ball and the memory verse going one direction like this, and then the second object goes the other direction. It goes from this person to this person who now has to do two words at the same time and keeps going around the circle in opposite orders. So I will post the verse on the screen. You can pause it if you need just a little help remembering it. And good luck. You did a great job, everybody. You know what? Living in peace takes a lot of hard work, just like that game. And letting go of what's fair also takes a lot of hard work. Now, I got a thought. Do you think it might have been fair to ask a person who messed up a lot at the game to step out of the game so that other people could do better at winning it? Whether you think that's fair or not, it wouldn't really be following the second part of the verse very well. That wouldn't be building them up. So I encourage you to make sure to let go of what is fair so you can build others up and show them that you care. And it can be difficult sometimes. I know you can do it, but you don't have to try alone. We can pray and ask God to help us get better at this every day. So let's take a moment and pray right now. Holy Spirit, come and help us to show people that we care by walking away from fights, by showing them that we care by letting go of what is fair? Help us to let go of sometimes feeling hurt or angry or upset because of what was unfair. And show other people that we care about them more. Remind us in those moments where we're seeing red because we're so angry. And remind us that you love us and you love that we try. We love you, God. Amen. Have fun playing.